The Philadelphia Eagles draft is seemingly all over the place, man. You got prospects from all position groups, big guys, small guys, everything, man. People are mocking the Philadelphia Eagles to pick guys from everywhere. This is a look into some of my top prospects that I think the Philadelphia Eagles should pick at 22. I personally won't be upset if the Philadelphia Eagles picked any of these guys. Let's get into it. So first, man, you know, we're going to go with Brock Bowers, tight end in Georgia, uh, 21 years old, 6'4", 240 pounds. This is what PFF had to say. Outside of being on the smaller side, Bowers is a dream tight end prospect who could be an impact player in the slot, out wide, and in line. And is and in his reliable blocking ability on the line and in space, and you have you know, an ultimate chess piece, offensive weapon with all pro potential. Um, this is probably the best tight end prospect since Kyle Pitts. I really, really like what Brock Bowers brings to the table, man. You know, when I look at Brock Bowers, I see a guy who's giving, you know, um, Kelsey vibes, kind of, you know, a, a guy that could be implemented in the game plan. Um, he's looking, uh, dare I say it, I, I think I think for sure he'll be better than Kyle Pitts so far. Um, I don't want to see Brock Bowers is looking generational, but at 22, the Philadelphia Eagles picking this guy, it could make some sense. My next guy, you know, a lot of people don't like this one right here. Cooper DeGene, uh, cornerback, junior, Iowa, 21 years old, 6'1", 207 pounds. Um, you know, um, the talk of DeGene playing outside corner or safety or slot cornerback at the next level is not due to the lack of a home position. It's because he could truly be an impact player anywhere. His footwork, ball skills, and explosive athleticism make him an impact outside corner, one with all pro potential. I really, really like Cooper DeGene. When you can see him lining up at the cornerback position, you see him making plays there. You see him making plays in a punt return game. Uh, this guy is a football player. You know, some guys you can just strap a helmet on and say, go out there and get it. Uh, Cooper DeGene is one of those guys for sure. Uh, Byron Murphy, defensive uh, inside, defensive interior guy, junior, 21 years old, 6'1", 308 pounds. Uh, Murray is a gifted defensive lineman in both the strength and speed categories. He's a versatile three-down player who brings plus abilities as a run defender and pass rusher. Projected as a first round impact starter for any front, I really, really like the tools he uses to, you know, split, you know what I mean? Uh, split double teams. You know, he uses this drop, this drop knee technique where he gets lowered in both for the offensive lineman and he creates a wedge and just creates havoc, man. This guy could be uh, a monster, you know, you know, one, a, a big guy to move to say the least. Um, I'm not opposed to this one because I feel like this is right up the Philadelphia Eagles alley. You know, now we just talked about a tight end and a cornerback, but defensive interior is really something that the Philadelphia Eagles like to do. So, you know, you got to keep your eye on guys like this. Uh, my next guy would be Jackson Powers Johnson, center. Oregon junior 21 years old 6'3 320 pounds Jackson Powers possesses starting caliber power and finesse traits at center or guard for both zone or man gap blocking concepts he is dominant enough at the position to be considered a top 20 talent I like this pick for the Philadelphia Eagles a lot of people don't like it because you got Cam Jurgens and things of that nature but as you can see this guy can play center or guard you know you're going to need a guard you're going to need a center this guy is a mountain of a man at the position um he can also get out and you know um show some athleticism on a screenplay get out and hit some people but you know whatever this guy touches you know it goes to the ground for sure you know what I mean just the caliber that this guy uh, just this is what he brings to the table at the center position. It should be something that Philadelphia Eagles should be used to. I'm not going to say that he is going to be a Kelsey or nothing like that. But at the end of the day, man, this type of center with this freakish athleticism is something that the Philadelphia Eagles, you know, could be keeping their eye on. You know what I'm saying? Before we get into the next dudes, I want y'all to tap in the big print champs, man. Use code Bully10. You know what I'm saying? We got a couple more days to round out the, uh, the month. Use code Bully10, man. Make this a good weekend, man. I'm giving out some savings with this. Yeah, sure things of that nature. The draft is coming up. Go get your merchandise. My next guy, I'm really excited about this guy. Lad McConkey. Um, 22 years old, six foot, Georgia. 
185 pounds. Don't expect McConkey to be an ex-jump ball receiver, but outside of that, it's hard to imagine him not succeeding in the NFL. His game is reminiscent of Eddie Royal, maybe not as fast but long speed, but he has devastating quickness, is good in the return game, and is a strong blocker for his size. I see more of Julian Edelman with more bursts. Uh, out of this guy. This guy's route tree is really, really impressive to me. When I look at this guy's tape and some of the top dogs that everybody said was top dogs at the wide receiver position, I come away with this thing being more impressed with Lad McConkey than a lot of other these guys, than a lot of these guys for sure. Uh, this footage of Lad McConkey cooking some of the top defensive uh, backs in this year's draft class, man. Uh, Lad McConkey in a slot, I think, will be able to do damage with the Philadelphia Eagles. I could see this kind of happening at 22. If we, you know, you know what I mean? I, I'm not mad at it if it happened at 22, not at all. Um, my next guy, man, Chop Robinson, man. Chop is climbing up the draft boards. You know, you don't know what's going to happen with Hassan Reddick. Edge Jr., 21 years old, 6'3", 250 pounds. Regardless of his lack of polish, Robinson is a gifted player athletically, likely on a level that is top of his class. A lot of what leaves you wanting more from Robinson. Robinson is coachable. Um, unlocking that is the key for him to go from a boom or bust athlete to a dominant edge defender. The main thing Chop Robinson is his alarming speed off the edge. You know, the speed at times is just freakish. The athleticism is freakish. I think there's a lot there. I think you can polish that up and really get something out of him. You don't know what's going to happen with Hassan Reddick. This could be a guy that could be, you know, waiting in the winds to be taught the game. You know what I'm saying? And of course, we got to talk about some linebackers. I'm not mad if the Philadelphia Eagles reach for Edron Cooper. We know the sideline speed of Edron Cooper is just alarming, man. Uh, Cooper has the length and athleticism to be a starting caliber linebacker in the NFL and a downhill role. His lack of anticipation and instincts for deeper coverage work will likely keep him from being picked in the first round. Uh, this is the type of talent and athleticism that I would actually probably reach for in the first round. I think he'll pick up the game and learn some nuances of the game for sure. I, you know, one of the things about Edwin Cooper that I've always said was, you know, at uh, 6'3", 230 pounds, I thought he was a little small. Um, I really, I really still feel like he's a little, little, like he got like that length, like that wiry, uh, that wiry build. Um, you, I just like his size that much, you know. What I mean, 6'3, 230, that's a lanky guy if you want me to keep it a bean. But you know, he got some muscle on him. We know he played played college ball, things of that nature. But, um, I really don't have no criticism about him, but the size, if you want, if you want me to keep it 100, man, I like Edwin Cooper for sure. If he's at 22, I'm not mad at the Eagles go for it. This one might be a bit of a reach though, Junior Colson. Uh, if he's there at 22, that could be considered a reach. Um, you know, um, 6'3", 247 pounds. I like this size for my linebackers for sure. Um, they say he's good, but he's not a great athlete, which will likely make him a day two pick as a rotational 4'3 linebacker with starting potential. I like it, man. I like it. You might be um, wondering why you don't see any um, any Jeremiah Trotter Jr. on this list. Well, mainly because, you know, um, I, I'm not reaching for Trotter Jr. at 22. These are some of the guys that I believe at 22, the Philadelphia Eagles, should go after you know what i'm saying and i'm not mad if we walk away with any of these guys being the pick at 22. so let me know what y'all think in the comments man these are the prospects that i've had my eye on you know what i mean let me know in the comments who you had your eye on for the 22nd pick uh the draft is coming up man make sure y'all stay tapped in <laughs>